I told General Blair, if uh, Foreign Secretary is not here within 10 days from tomorrow, with the recommendations and advice I got from the members of the Defense Council who are right now before me, uh, he, we will then consider when to execute him by the firing squad. This is the recommendation by the Defense Council. But uh, General Blair, uh, he was trying to give me order. He has no power in Uganda. And uh, he's just, the British imperialism is over in Uganda. Uganda is one of the powerful country, independent, free country to do whatever he wants to do. And uh, Mr. Carag, Mr. Hills has apologized. I have got the letter. He has written uh, that what he has written, it is a completely malicious and a hopeless propaganda against me, against the Republic of Uganda, while I am the best friend of Britain. And I am sure if uh, British is to send some officers to me, should not send some type of the officers who have no diplomacy, like General Blair and uh, Graham, because they were ordering me, they were not respecting, and they think that they are the boss in Uganda, and they think they were the former Buanamukubas who are, uh, they used to make African washing their back, bottom, their feet. This is no longer case in Uganda. Uganda is developing without a single penny from Britain without anything from Britons. And if uh, the foreign secretary consider uh, this particular point and they wanted to save the life of Mr. Uh, Hills, uh, we are ready to consider and their foreign secretary must come here. And this letter was written in spirit of good understanding and of improving relationship with the Britons. Sir, did General Blair at any time suggest to you that if Hills was not to be saved, he would consider an intervention, a military intervention by the British Army this or any other? That is what he was saying here. That is what is he that said. true? This is what he was saying here. He will suggest military intervention. He was saying here before the whole members of Defence Council.